morning guys we are having a spring reset today we're going to do all the things that make us feel good but also i kind of want to have a bit of like a refresh of the house i feel like the house is kind of stuck in january and i am ready for it to feel like spring in here so i'm going to pop into town today i feel like a home sense trip is probably on the cards and then also kenny and i are going to paris next week which i am super excited about I kind of want to go shopping a little bit it's going to be a busy day today but i'm really excited we're going to do all the stuff that makes us feel good but first things first i've got a bar class this morning so i'm going to get changed and let's go do it while I was doing that. that class was so tough today I also feel like it um has a massive impact on where I am in my cycle on like how hard or how strong I'm feeling honestly I can barely even talk after that I need like a serious breather I absolutely love Caroline's bar classes they're so good and we may or may not possibly be talking about doing something really really exciting actually doing a full workout that you guys can follow that i can put on the channel please let me know if that is something that you guys would like to see i feel like you guys would absolutely love it just as much as i do um but yeah i'm really excited about that so let me know if it's something you want to see and caroline and i will work on it hey Ruth. so i'm gonna go jump in the shower because i am a hot mess right now and then let's go into town and do some shopping <laughs> on the floor in my bedroom opening some deliveries that came today and one thing I picked up for Paris is actually matching converse for Kenny and I because I figure we're gonna probably be doing a lot of walking so I actually ordered these online with a discount using Slash who have kindly sponsored this part of the video so Slash is essentially a browser extension that allows you to shop everything from homeware to fashion at a discounted price signing up with Slash is super simple all you need to do is go to slash.com complete your profile by adding your email, phone and connecting a bank card and then go ahead and add the slash extension to Chrome and log in. And then you can start browsing the brands that are available to shop using Slash. If I go on Converse as an example to show you how easy it is, you can see here the Slash logo which automatically shows you the discount that's going to be applied at checkout. It's that simple. So I'll put a link to download Slash on the screen here and then also in the description box so that you guys can get shopping. I'm excited about these because I've never owned black Converse before, only ever white. And I always see people style these up in a really cool way. So yeah, I'm excited and Kenny's got matching ones too, so that's fun. But yeah, let me go grab all the stuff and let's go in the living room and do a full 
debrief on everything I got in town. A quick change of plan because I have just realized if I don't leave now to take Rue out and get some lunch, I will be late for my nail appointment. So we need to quickly run out, do a couple of bits. I'll take you guys with me. And then when we get back, we will pick up where we left off and I will show you everything that we got in town today. It's lunchtime and look where I am. Surprise, surprise, back at the garden eatery. Rue is crying to get out of the car. So I went for a quinoa, a mixed quinoa salad and then this is a vegan Caesar salad with potato, which looks really good. And then today I have gone for the alkalis juice, which is basically all veggies and then lemon. Okay, so this is the before. Long nails, I love you, I really do, but you're just too high maintenance for me. So we're having a change today. after they're so cute aren't they we did like a little mini what you call it a micro french using biab i love them i've missed having short nails okay let's finally get into doing a bit of a haul of everything i got and i'm thinking let's start with clothes because i think there's less clothes stuff oh hey look who came to join us hey 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 hey, hey, hey. from cos i got a few things so i picked up this jacket that was actually in the sale and what i love about this is like the neckline um let me put it on for you i mean i probably would not wear it with a shirt but what i thought was cool about it was this like neckline thing it's very kind of like biker chick i just think that the color is very like springy i think i showed you guys this but i ended up buying it on holiday particularly it's a really easy thing just to like throw on over a bikini or whatever to go for lunch it's like the whole outfit in one and that is my kind of outfit from tk maxx would you believe it i got these little um blue striped shorts they are actually from zara but they were in tk maxx and i just happened to walk past them and they were 7.99 and again especially for holiday or maybe even paris i could style them with like a white t-shirt I just thought they were cute. I really like a blue and white stripe. So I saw these on someone's Instagram. I cannot remember who, otherwise I would tell you guys. But they're these like super, super chunky platform kind of like called mules. I really don't know. But this girl I saw on Instagram literally wears them with everything and it makes the outfit so cool. So I don't know. I'm yet to try them on with different outfits. So they could be returned. But I promise you, if I can find this girl, I will put a picture on the screen here of how she styles it. Um... But yeah, so I got them from H&M. I got, I mean, it's kind of along the lines of the blue stripe thing, a really cute cord, which is like this huge, huge oversized green shirt. The shorts are very much like the blue shorts, but in green. And I just thought, again, like I don't have to think about this outfit. I'm thinking lunch on the beach. I'm thinking lunch by the pool. And I'm just thinking holiday. I know we're supposed to be thinking spring, but I really skipped ahead to summer hair. Oh yeah, and then the only other thing I got from H&M was just a plain white vest top because this feels like really, really good quality. It's like really stretchy and really thick and it was 5 dollars So I just thought, 
Why not? You can never have too many white vest tops to go with everything. So then if we move on to kind of the main thing this video was actually supposed to be about, which is sorting the house out. I got this in a gift set just because that was the only option. It's called Sea Salt, which I feel like I haven't heard of. So I don't know if it's new or new-ish into the white company. The smell is kind of quite masculine, um, but I love that. I got soap, hand cream, and then home spray just for when you know like when you've got guests coming and you want things like extra fresh it smells so good do you want to smell this oh it smells so good you want to smell and then let me grab it so a couple more home bits on my way back in i just stopped at the flower shop downstairs and i picked up some of these i don't know what these are called but they're so pretty i don't know it's kind of some wheaty thing because i really want to redo can you see it no over there i've got my it's like a dried flower display um and i've had it since autumn so i feel like it needs it needs a refresh hey guess what i've actually got something in here for you i actually have something in here for you yes mum did get you some new balls i always buy her these mini tennis balls can you see her paws what are you doing because um regular sized tennis balls are like too big for her she can't pick them up with her mouth properly okay you want one now Oh, is it that exciting? Do you remember these that we played fetch with? <gasps> Go on then. Go on then. I'm going to throw it up here. Ready? 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 Go see. It's up here. Go see. <laughs> is that good? Um, yeah, so that's one thing I get from Home Sense. Oh, I'm uncomfortable. Jeans. I should have taken my jeans off before I did this. Then I got myself some treats. I got, I hope these ones are vegan. Are they all vegan? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is a disaster. Oh guys, this is actually a disaster. This brand, Monty Bojangles. Monty Bojangles. Um, they do vegan truffles and they are so good. So I thought, oh, okay, they're all vegan. So then I changed my mind and got a different flavour and now they both have milk in. So that's made me really sad. They'll have to be for Kenny. Luckily it's Easter weekend, so I can give them to Kenny for Easter. Oh, that's annoying. The other thing I got from Home Sense was this candle. I don't really normally, oh, you wanna play with the ball now? Oh, started something here, guys. Go on then. But I saw this and I thought, I saw the back where it's plain white and I thought, oh, that's really pretty. And then I smelt it and it smells so good, guys. It's jasmine tea and oud and it just smells incredible. And, and then the final thing I got from HomeSense was actually this basket itself, which I carried everything home in. I'm just gonna use this as like a laundry basket. This box is absolutely huge. I opened it just a second ago and that's why these are on the top. So this is very kindly gifted from a company called Coco Olive. I will put their at on Instagram on screen here and I will link them down below because they have sent me just the most beautiful delivery of kind of like home bits. I've not opened all of this yet, I just opened a box because I thought it might be hard to get into. So I thought we could do that together. Um, what should we start with? I feel like let's start with this in the middle. I can already tell it's so beautiful. Look at it! Let me bring it closer. It's this really beautiful like neutral stone kind of effect vase is that what you would call it i guess it's like a vase i'm going to use it as a vase anyway i think it's absolutely beautiful and it's huge the way they kind of like styled this vase was white natural grass kind of thing just like this and it looked so stunning i'm so happy with that and i feel like it's really gonna help with our mission today of making the house feel a bit more like spring summer oh it smells so good guys I wish you guys could smell it, but again, it's just so perfect for what we're doing today. And then they've also sent me these beautiful little neutral wooden decorative beads and some of this coffee scrub. I bet that also smells so good. I feel like we can make this look so good. I'm excited. Um, I probably need to tidy this room. Look at what I'm looking at. Um, so I'm going to need to deal with this and this, and then we can kind of start to redo this area. And Rue's tipped her toy basket upside down as well. Hey? 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 Do you want to help mummy redo the house? What do you want from in here, baby? You want this lovely bone. Mmm.
how much of a huge difference has this made to this whole area of our living room? I feel like it suddenly looks like so fresh and so nice. This is honestly stunning. So I am so grateful to Coco Olive for sending that because I feel like, I don't know, it just makes it, it wouldn't be the same. And then I've just popped all my candles there in an arrangement. I changed the top magazine to like a brighter colored one. And I feel like even that's made a small difference. I mean, I probably need to mix them through, but I didn't want to commit to it until I new um but i just took some of the more autumny pieces out and then left these bits because i couldn't throw these away and they're just so cute so yeah <laughs> Would you believe we're still using this gingerbread soap from Christmas? I'll keep this obviously guys and just use it in the bathroom or something. Also, while we're talking about home stuff, I just need to tell you about this diffuser. It smells so good. It's honestly the perfect, perfect scent for the kitchen because it really smells exactly like vine tomato. It smells like heaven. Um, it's from Dalesford and this is the one. We just keep it here in the kitchen and it smells so good. dinner together tonight it is not going to come as a surprise that kenny is not here so we're having a hannah classic really guys you've definitely seen this one before but i do have some new info for you did you know in 100 grams of pea pasta there are 24 grams of protein did you know that because i did not know so i'm gonna have this green pea pasta um someone asked me in the comments what brand i use so this is called Cas... Oh, honestly, what's wrong with me? Let me bring it to you. Cas... No, um, I give up. This brand. Um, it's an organic one. But to be honest with you, I feel like any pea pasta from anywhere you can get it from does the job. I feel like tonight I'm going to literally make a one pot pesto veg pasta. So veg wise, this is exciting, isn't it guys? I've got some white asparagus. I cannot say I've ever eaten this before. I'm excited about it. I've got broccoli, which is a family favorite. And then some of these leafy greens. And what I'm gonna do is, and some tomatoes, I'm basically gonna chop everything up like super small, saute it all in a pan, boil the pasta at the same time, then put the pasta in the pan with the veg, put the pesto in. French kiss, Ita Italian kiss actually i guess this is my all-time favorite vegan pesto it's so good i cannot even explain it um but there's not much left in this jar so in the back of the cupboard i found a good old classic vegan pesto so i'm going to mix those two no pesto pasta is complete without cheese so th this is a new favorite actually for kenny and i um we were um diehard biolife fans but we've recently discovered this and this red leicester one is probably i would go as far as to say the best vegan cheese i've tried pea pasta here's all the veg how yummy are these tomatoes they're so like fresh and just so good so yeah i'm gonna get chopping <laughs> ugly so i wanted to show you guys before i put the cheese on and now i am gonna sit here and i'm gonna continue binge watching the ultimatum if you guys have seen love is blind and that's your kind of thing i'm telling you this is just as addictive look at my little baby um but yeah it's really really simple obviously it took like 10 minutes as well and um it tastes good also i would just like to add sorry to touch my food in my hands white asparagus is a vibe it's really nice mm -mm -mm. yum Sorry, this is making me laugh so much. Oh, 
so <laughs> Why does she sound like this? What are you doing, gorgeous? Oh, I love her so much. Are we gonna go pick up daddy in a minute? Good evening, everybody. I am about to take my makeup off, but I wanted to show you or talk to you about my current skincare situation. My skin, I don't know what is going on, but it is so dry at the moment. I don't know if anybody else has got this. Something is definitely going on the past few days. So I have gone back to my holy grail, my trusted Waleda skin food. And the current situation is in the evening, um, I use this, like the original skin food, which is super, super thick. And normally it's a bit too rich for my skin, but at the moment, nothing is too rich. And then in the day, I'm still using, most of the time, I'm still using the light skin food, which is why today, I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, I didn't wear any foundation, like any skin makeup at all. And I probably looked really oily because I had this super thick moisturizer on. Because the priority right now is just healing my very dry skin. And a couple of other things on the note of dry skin. I also have been using my SkinCeuticals HA Intensifier. I've been using this as like a layer, waiting for it to soak in and then adding that because that's the level of dryness we're at. Um, and I also have been using for my lips the, the Laneige um, Lip Sleeping mask which gets like rave reviews and for a good reason i just thought i'd tell you guys that because i've seen a huge um improvement since i've been using these products because i kind of was like experimenting with a few different moisturizers and stuff and i just don't know i don't know i feel like with me definitely keeping it simple is the way forward so thank you guys so so much for hanging out with me today i have had a really good day so i'm feeling good Feeling good, feeling ready for spring, feeling ready for Paris. Next video will be a Paris vlog, which I'm excited about. And yeah, life's good, guys. Life is good. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will see you next Sunday in the next one. Bye, guys.